All right, hey everybody, it is Tony and I am back. It is time for some TTMs. I finally got some back, so woohoo for that. Uh, let's get started with the dreaded yellow sticker. And it is Jim Buckin, so don't use that uh, 4610 University Avenue address. There is his forwarding address there. I'm guessing that's Madison, Wisconsin. So I will send back out to Jim Bakken in, in the next couple of days. Okay, the first one coming from North Houston, Texas. He signed 3 of 3. I sent him two, but he was generous enough to send me an extra, which is very, very cool. I asked him um, if he still attends the Bayou Classic because he went to Southern University and he said, yes I do, exclamation point. So, signing the two that I sent and the extra one, here they are. 92 Flair. 91 Pro Set, looking good there. And then the one that he threw in, this Pinnacle card. So very awesome. Tim Brown's right there. <laughs> so awesome to get uh, three back from Rufus Porter. The next one from beautiful Baton Rouge, Louisiana, another Louisiana guy, signing 101. It got uh, kind of dinged up in the mail, and he used blue ink pen. Looked like it was a dying blue ink pen. Uh, former Chicago Bear, uh, Ross Brubacher. 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 That's, wh that's what we're going to go with. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry but awesome to get a former Chicago Bear back. And as you can see, it's, he must have used, he was dying, using a dying pen. But still very happy to get that one back. The next one for $5, sending one on one. It is former Chicago Cub great, part of the Daily Double. It is Bobby D, Bobby Denier, sending one on one on the 1984 Tops card. Still working on getting as many of these autographs as I can get on the 84 set. So happy to add another one. Of course, I, uh, a few weeks ago, I got friend mail from the lovely and talented Alan Twitchell. And he sent me, what was it, the 1985 Topps card? Uh, so he was featured in a Cubs uniform, but uh, had to get my own as well. And for $5, why not? The last one from another return from Kansas City. This one took just over a year. He signed two or two. I, uh, yeah, I saw a bunch of people getting theirs back shortly after I sent mine out. So I was like, oh, great. I'll get mine back soon, too. No, it took a year. Whatever. It happens. But he signed two or two. On first one was on the 1997 uh, Collector's Choice, and the other one was on 1995 Score. So signing two of two, David Segui. A little dark with the uh, with the Shea Stadium dugout behind him, but uh, still looks good with the exposed blue and the blue ink that he used, and then the 1995 scorecard that uh, Picker Jim S. Uh, several years ago sent me a box of 1995 score and well you you know how cards are in 1995 they're glossy and a lot of paper loss but this one did turn out well and awesome love it and happy to get mr david Sigi back after one year so those are all my returns this week thanks for watching everybody have a good one i'll be back later this week